Hello guys, welcome back. We are doing a post commentary today because I'm tired and I don't want to play TF2 this morning. This is a lobby I played a couple of days ago, I think it was the Friday. It's on Viaduct Pro. You'll notice it's the Pro version because there's all this pretty grass and there's no snow. And um, on the very left there, yeah, left there, there's a little walkway between the um, between the wall, which yeah, isn't on the like the Valve version. There's just a wall there. So yeah, this was a pretty fun lobby. Their pyro wasn't particularly amazing, so I had a lot of fun. Um, and since it's a lobby, uh, you could get away with a lot of really cool, fun stuff, because, like, I think most of the team were in Mumble, because it was a Mumble lobby. However, they didn't seem to be communicating all too well, because I got away with some very silly stuff, which normally you would not be able to get away with, because they'd probably call out Spy, down your bum. But no one seemed to have... Yeah, no one seemed to do this. Um, this spotlight here, pretty fancy little spot I like using on this map. It doesn't really get used that much because uh, like it's not too often that people walk through there. Like occasionally you might catch out like a sniper, but they tend to run Razorbacks. You might as well have just shot them from the face anyway. Uh, stairs here are always good for a little little sneaky stair stab. Even though people seem to have learned to expect it, they still fall for it somehow. I don't know. Uh, always useful to take away the mini sentries on this map. Minis and demo man are like most important two two of the most important things on the viaducts. Because minis such a huge range on this map. If like the Higi gets one up, it kind of just fucks over your shoulder, your soldier, and your scout and everything. So try and keep the minis down if you can. Doesn't matter what class you're playing, if you can take out minis easily, you should do that. Also, at the beginning of rounds, you should always remember to check the medics medigun if you can. I've got a bind, which I guess I can link in the description, which basically just, if I spam a 5, it disguises as medic, pulls out my sapper, and redisguises, which allows me to check what medigun they're running. And you'll see my HUD, that I have the 3D models angled so that I can very easily see what the side of their gun looks like. And uh, so even if the medic's renamed as Kritzkrieg to like medigun or something, you can still see what it is, because the little, little yellow Jurati bits on the Kritzkrieg. Um, yeah, like stuff like this. The scout really should have been like, hey, there's a spy or the sniper. So yeah, a bit of an odd one. Also people, I guess, you know, it's a lobby, you don't really, you don't really, uh, try too hard to be super, um, super on it, so you don't look around all the time and be really twitchy. I really thought I could have gotten that scout there, but he got a good hundred meter on me, which, you know, good for him, I guess, but I miffed. I could have two-shot him or headshot him or something, it would have looked badass. Um, I mean, like rolling out right cliffside normally, or left. I never really go up the middle because there's too much spam. Um, Demo Man can really hold down the entire map from just like behind the point with both rollers, as you can see, our Demo Man doing, and stickies. Like, there's a lot of sneak uh, sneaky, sticky spots on this map where like you can hide them underneath logs, or you can hide them on the point behind the sign, and it's kind of difficult to see. So, yeah. Also, um, a little spot if you're playing NG, on the cliff on the very, very right there, above the midpoint. Yeah, up there on the right, you, I don't know if you still can, but you still have to put Mini up there. And it would have a view of the entire midpoint, and only like, demo men and soldiers could get rid of it. Or your sniper, if he's on the left. But snipers normally tend to go cliff or china. And, uh, well, cliff is what you'd expect, it's the very, very far cliff. And china is where that medic just was, a little bit further up the stairs. Thought this scout was following me. Guess he wasn't, and now he is. Okay. Um, another really cool thing about Viaduct is that like there's so many little ledges and stuff where you can jump off and you can sit there. So unlike maps like Steel, which we just played in the playoffs, where like the entire map's just one huge choke point and there's tunnels and like there's no <laughs> high advantage really. This map is just one huge high advantage where like. Okay, I want to get above the guy. There's like three places I can go. This window here is a place you can stand. This walkway is a place you can stand. You can stand on pretty much every window on this map. Including, uh, as you're going up the cliff, there's like three windows on the side you can stand there. Occasionally you can like drop on a heavy or something. No one seems to really look up, so that's pretty good. And if uh, anyone's wondering really why on all the pro maps, they seem to add grass everywhere, like pro uh, barn blitz, pro this map, uh, Rydux. It's because, a couple reasons. One, if you're colorblind, um, it's kind of difficult to differentiate blue players from the snow sometimes, or 
I mean, if you just have like bad graphics and or bad eyesight or whatever, it's a little trickier to see in the snow. And another thing is that apparently it increases the um, it increases your I don't know rendering ability, so it works better on shit computers apparently. And there's a couple other reasons, but I think the main one is the color blindy thing. Oh, oh dear, no, no, well, no, don't, please, no, oh god, no, no, oh, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> the medic, he was one shot away from death, had my gun out, missed every shot, shanked him in the face, that didn't kill him, and then I got killed by a scout, so. Always use your gun, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't. I gave the medic 25%, I mean, he died later, it's like a scout, but, yeah. And as I said, minis, try and focus them if you can, don't. Don't try and duel two people at once when you're 125 health. Really not the best idea, especially if you have like a dead ringer. Uh, I think that's the end of the lobby now, so yeah. I'm just going to cut it off here because I don't like making 20 minute videos because I don't think people watch them. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.